Hello everyone, welcome to the very, very, very first video of ISBR's official ISBR Experts video series. Today we have one of the most uh, exciting and full of experience faculty with us, Dr. Anju. She has more than 19 years of experience in both teaching and industry, uh, bringing industry experience to the classroom. She has worked in several reputed institutions and her areas of teaching interest are organizational behavior, human resource management, organization design, talent management, strategic human resource development, and a lot. So she has presented papers in international conferences, written so many research papers in international journals, and have attendance, attended uh, MDPs and FDPs. And she has also chaired, coordinated, and anchored several conferences. So ma'am, uh, we, we are going to ask you a lot many questions because students are having a lot many doubts regarding HR as a specialization in ISBR. And today, we all will uh, start looking to build up a career in human resource development in ISBR. So how is HR as a specialization in ISBR, ma'am? First of all, welcome. Welcome to the video series, ma'am. Thank you, Shruti. Uh, that was a wonderful introduction that you gave. Thank you for all those kind words. Okay. Uh, You're welcome, ma'am. Yeah. Um, See, ISBR has a two-year AICT recognized PGTM program, also recognized by Ministry of HRD and AIU. And one of the specializations of the PGTM program is human resource management. I'll now be sharing screen uh, with the PPT and we'll get a lot of insights regarding the uh, ISBR PGDM HR program and I'm sure that will answer all your questions uh, Shruti and if further to that you have any more questions you're always welcome to ask me okay definitely uh, ma'am hold on for a second yes ma'am so there are a lot many students yeah. who might be looking forward to ISBR in HR so this video is for everyone who is looking forward to build up a career in human resource development this video would give you the reasons why you should choose and give ISBR your priority in your management school list so ma'am will be sharing screen soon yeah can you please enable the share screen uh, yes you? yes ma'am No, it still says host disabled uh, attendee sharing screen. Now I have made you the host. Okay, fine. Yeah. Share. Yes. yes, so welcome to the PGDM uh, course in human resource management at ISBR. As we all know, ISBR is a platinum institute, NBA accredited, and it has several other accreditations to it. Also, as I mentioned earlier, ISBR is an institute with international education standards uh, with its first campus set up under the aegis of Bangalore Education Trust. Now, um, Remember that uh, ISBR has a, a program to inculcate innovation, ethical values, and nurture holistic development, uh, development among students. It also believes in training young men and women able and eager to create and put into action their ideas, methods, and concepts. Now, uh, also uh, at ISBR, uh, the whole fraternity of ISBR, whether it is the faculty, whether it is the students, whether it is, this, uh, it is the corporate trainers, whether it is the trainers who come on board to train our students, believe in the spirit of excellence uh, and scholarship training and service. Okay, so ISBR takes pride in being a place where students and faculty can pursue knowledge without boundaries, uh, a place where theory and practice combine to produce a better understanding of our world and ourselves. Uh, yes, so why PGDM in HRM? You might be wondering, and you might have these questions in your mind, uh, why should I do a PGDM in HRM? Now, are you good at managing people? If the answer is yes. 
are you a people person if you like to be with people if you like to you know be friendly with them be uh, have good interpersonal relationships with them um and if you are able to uh, you know understand and empathize uh, and sympathize with them uh, then uh, we go to the next uh, question are you a good listener yes you know listening skills are absolutely required more more than uh, you know talking skills so if you are a good listener yes are you good at resol resolving other people's conflicts yes are you good at you know understanding other people's empathizing uh, with the other uh, with the other person with respect to what he is going through in terms of conflict are you also wondering what to do after your undergraduate degree so if you have said yes to all these questions then you are at the right place okay the pgdm hr course offered by isbr business school is all of this and much more now while i asked you all these questions please keep in mind that uh, you know these are the characteristics that are required for a good hr professional and that's why i said if you have said yes to all this then you are in the uh, in the right place at the right time that is the isbr uh, you know hr course uh, aict recognized pgdm hr course now you might next ask me that question what is hrm okay uh, we spoke about all the skills required to uh, be a good hr professional now hrm is an integral component of any organization people are the assets who are developed to create a competitive advantage for organizations we know that uh, we have heard of the five m's of management without the component of man the other four m's cannot be mobilized to create any kind of uh, performance or productivity within the organization the other m's could be machinery markets um, material and money okay and the fifth m is man so that's the reason we say people are the assets who are to be developed uh, without the human component no organization can succeed or survive we know that uh, i mean the people component as i said earlier is the most important component you may have the best of machinery you may have the best of computers the best of software the best of everything but without a human being taking care of all this and working on it you know you cannot uh, contribute to uh, any kind of productivity the hr professional is responsible for acquiring motivating developing and retaining employees now these are the four basic functions under which all the other functions of these are umbrella functions okay under which all the other functions of hr uh, you know uh, get covered under so when you say acquiring is about uh, rec recruiting it's about selecting it is about onboarding orienting and placing motivating is how you are able to motivate your employees to the best of their ability developing is training and development developing employees is a very very important aspect of the hr um, function and retaining today employee retaining employees is the biggest challenge that a hr professional faces uh, within an organization how he is able to keep his employees within the organization is retaining employees uh, and the next question you may ask me is what are the different careers that uh, hr has to offer we know the careers in hr are always rewarding and challenging rewarding because you are handling you are interacting with people on a day to day basis challenging because people are the ones who have the maximum you know um, maximum challenges and so your role as a hr professional here plays a very very big uh, role within the organization whether as a generalist or specialist you know uh, managing people is always exciting now some of the uh, titles that you could carry are diversity equity and inclusion manager hr coordinators training and development managers social media recruitment specialist compensation and benefits specialist payroll managers analysts hr analysts od specialists talent managers ir managers the list would be endless but i've just put a few of the important roles uh, and titles that these hr professionals can carry about the pgdm course see uh, the pgdm course at isbr how do we differentiate a pgdm course at uh, isbr as opposed to other institutes now there are three distinct dimensions extensive corporate interface 
in terms of you know uh, guest lectures we have c talks that is the ceo who come who come over to the college and give a lot of talks uh, they also do a lot of mentoring hand holding uh, for our students uh, unlimited uh, knowledge access and an unwavering focus on the future also remember isbr is not only about academics it is about it is it, we believe in holistic education we believe in uh, developing our young crowd uh, young and dynamic crowd which comes to our college so it is about um, uh, academic sessions along with various other activities that uh, these students can undertake on their two year tenure or in their two year two year tenure at isbr Uh, the PGDM program offered by ISBR is one of the top PGDM colleges in Bangalore. is very unique because the program, as I said, is approved by AICT. Electives are taught by uh, eminent faculty from both industry and academics. Range of inspirational speakers from around the world. We get international speakers who come and address our students. Exclusively designed course content at on par with top international business schools. ratified by both industry professionals and uh, academicians case studies live projects movie analysis fest participation uh, international conferences and much more okay all of this and much more is what the pgdm course is all about at isbr now what is the isbr edge then you might uh, you might ask me this or you might be wondering and how is it different from other colleges see as i said holistic development or overall development is what isbr business school looks at in terms of developing the students uh, we have hr conclaves panel discussions conferences seminars industry guest lectures c talks training and workshop programs and of course club activities these are all platforms where students can get involved they can participate they can uh, they can lead some of these programs they can also get into event management now this is where the holistic development of students happen as they are already into doing a lot of things what they would be uh, otherwise doing in the corporates uh hr nama convergence club is the club uh, which is which is a hr club at isbr uh, we have several activities um uh, both uh, in the purview of hr and otherwise also some of the recent activities which were conducted by the hr namma convergence club were case study discussions role plays poster making panel discussions and vis visit to a religious place to include diverse diversity and inclusion into the campus uh, into the students uh, who 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 are actually students in the campus to make them aware about uh diversity and inclusion apart from this there are several other activities like you have um, you know uh, with respect to other uh, you can also participate in other club activities social club activities marketing club or finance club activities and also outside the college in terms of fest that is intercollegiate fest you can also participate in workshops you can present papers in conferences seminars that would actually build your knowledge base and you know in terms of skills and abilities that act, that makes you more confident it makes you more uh, more adept at becoming a you know a perfect uh, a person for the uh, corporate now uh, and see we have at um, uh, isbr the student crowd is vibrant and active uh they're dem demographically diverse so they have a very very creative uh, student lot they are a very uh, creative student lot and um coming to isbr to study hr would be the best decision that you can take uh, if you are looking to pursue a career in hr thank you any questions shruti any other questions definitely ma'am i guess you have covered up everything each and every corner related to hr and isbr and i am pretty sure everybody watching this video right now would be very much inspired to take to choose isbr in hr specialization for sure 
and uh, after the pandemic hr as a domain hr as a field has increased have shown growth of course so uh, in that field also isbr has been excelling our three students in hr got placed at the highest package in hr till now oh, yes yes so it's yes. the best um, i guess they got 11 or in a half lakh of package so it's a great thing everybody watching this video would be inspired and you should choose isbr as your hr specialization for sure so ma'am any questions anything related any concerns doubts queries i would like every viewer watching this video to put their questions and raise their doubt concerns in the comment section below i'll make sure to connect with ma'am and i'll ask her your doubts and she will definitely look into this forward and ask everything every queries every question and every concern yes definitely should be at any point of time also i would like to add that you know placement we have a placement stratex uh, placecom stratex placecom is the placement uh, board or the placement department at isbr where uh, you know training is given from three uh, three areas the faculty train the students uh, there is a corporate trainer who comes and trains the students mm -hmm. and of course there is an alumni who comes and trains the students so uh, in terms of placement also the training is extensive it is uh, you know Uh, no i don't think any other college offers this kind of uh, training as far as placement is concerned uh, and of course adding to shruti uh, shruti's uh, in, insights or inputs as far as the, yes there were three students in our previous batch who got placed who got excellent placement um, they got a 11 lakh pa a package yes uh, i i endorse whatever shruti is saying yes right, so Yes. Yes. Wonderful chatting with you, Shruti. Uh, thank, thank you for thank giving you. me this opportunity and time to clear certain doubts about the uh, or to get more clarity about the ISBR PGDM HR course recognized by AICT. Uh, so uh, yes, uh, thank you once again and good night. Thank you, thank you, ma'am. Thank you so much for taking out.